QA stands for Quality Assurance, and what we do is we play through the game all day and find out the bugs that are going in the game and report them to all the different various production leads and creative leads around the office and make sure that everything gets fixed and there's not any big issues with the game when it ships. It's our responsibility to make sure the game is appropriately awesome and epic. If there is a big problem area, well, one of us will just like play that area all day long, every day, do everything you can imagine that could break the game, kind of get in the mind of what people playing for the first time, because we play it every single day. Try to do everything possible in that area with every item, every spell, and make sure it's all working and none of that's crashing the game. So this is the kind of stuff we test on before art even gets in. As you see, it's just kind of like some sheets, some blocks. You don't really see a lot. It's a pretty basic level. So you might see a level go from something like this. When it get, actually gets its art in, it looks a lot different. The spikes look a lot better. The walls have much more designs. You have the wood in the background. And it goes from designer sheet to something more pretty like this. And this tells you what level we're currently in. The red one is the one you're in. The blue one is the one that you're going to, the one that's loading in. And the white one is the one that you came from. It's very easy when you're writing up a bug to tell them which area it's happening in. These say any AI that are loaded in, so if any of those are loading in and out, we can tell which one's causing problems or causing the game to crash. Over here you have your coordinates, which is just where you are on X, Y, Z axis. It's useful for the artists because they can just type it in and if we say there's no collision, there's a tree that Kratos is walking through. Um, they're not, they don't really play the game very much, the artists, because they're constantly doing art. Down here it's basically just Frame rate, which is useful when we when we got one into the E3 demo, we use that a lot. And going to the final build, we're we'll going through and documenting the frame rate everywhere, and making sure everything is up to the the right level of frame rate. We can see what areas are causing the frame rate to dip. That we need to have code or anybody else go through and and s see if they can optimize that area. So I've just submitted the bug, and now I'm going to try to see if I can take a video of it actually happening to reproduce it. The bug is that sometimes. <laughs> Kratos just won't grab onto the ledge when he does the jump. And the bugs are assigned to different priorities, and certain ones we refer to as progression stoppers, which means that if a player were to run into this bug playing through the game, they would be unable to continue. And we categorize that as an A bug. It's the absolute highest priority. So I have to make, sh I have to make very sure that the designer gets this particular bug so that they're able to fix it because it's very, very serious. We get as many as one to 200 bugs per day during certain phases of production. This is the opening level. This is when Gaia is climbing up Mount Olympus and you're on the back of Gaia. Art was just added to this level, so you would try to run along different areas, make sure Kratos can't pass through the world, like right here. So in this case, I would go in and give the artist the coordinates to this certain location where Kratos is inside the rock and that artist would make a collision pass, fixing that collision so I couldn't fall through it. I'm loading the test level to test the Wraith. It's basically this enemy that burrows underground. And the only way you can actually attack him is to use the L1 and circle move, which is your grapple. When he's under the ground, I'm supposed to be able to grab him out and slam him on the concrete. But that's not working right now, so that's when I would open up my Test Track Pro and write up a bug report. It's our job to play the game over and over and over again, so after you play a certain section a certain amount of times, it gets a little repetitive, but that just comes along with the duties of being in the QA. It certainly takes some of the romance out of it, but it's a real pleasure being able to see the game evolve day by day, step by step, asset by asset as they are implemented. It's very exciting.